pictures while when I go places I have to pay. He does that because he's a spectacular photographer, just back from Hawaii, China, Spain, you've been all of those places. First of all, we want to look at your pictures, but how have you managed that gig? How do you get to travel the world and have someone else pay for it? Well, um, I just uh, looked to God and uh, he kind of answered and said, just ask people to pay in advance uh, to buy your artwork. And my work was good enough and people That's started good. doing it. I'm going to try and, uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I went to, uh, I was going to go to China, but I ended up going to Iceland first. And uh, here's one of the prints from the, uh, the Iceland series. This is a, gold, it's a, a waterfall sponsored by Bill Palumbo. I usually have about 25 people pay in advance to sponsor one of my trips. But how does that work? How do, I mean, I well, what they do is they get it at half price. I sell my prints at such and such a rate. And what they do is they get to purchase the prints at, at half the going rate. And uh, over, uh, since these, in fact, the, since these series have come out, they paid 175 to buy in. These prints are now going for $1,500. So in two years, they did pretty good. So a series of people buy sponsor, in to sponsor, sponsor the trip. To get um, pictures right like now, the, uh, the sponsor price is running 450 to sponsor print, and they're released at 600. Well, the new series on Kauai, I've already had one print sell six times. Every time it sells, it goes up a little bit in value. I limit the addition to 25 prints, and then I destroy the negative. There are no more prints. So, so not many photographers do that. It's a piece of art. It's a limited edition, and every time it sells, it goes up. So if someone picks a print from, I put my best 50 out from hundreds that I create within the month, uh, they'll get to choose their favorite one, and the one they pick is in their print. I put their name on it. I donate one to museum, and uh, I keep one, and that travels the world on, on display. You brought a lot of pictures, and unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. I would like to take a look as many as possible. This, this is, is Kauai. This Kauai. Is, uh, uh, sponsored by Alan Davidson. It's a very one of the best sellers. Uh, Jay and Heidi Short, who sponsored every trip. This is uh, one of the prints of a coral tree. It was out in the middle of a, a field out by Hanalei. How do you decide what to take? You're looking for scenic well, versus form, uh, light, a line, different things. I saw this net one day and it was all dried up and I came back and uh, photographed it. Uh, I'll move it over just a little bit here to get a better view. That's perfect. I photographed this one um, when I found it wet two days later. I put 2,500 miles on my rental car over there in a month. And they say wow. It's a and small island. island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just got back there from a couple weeks ago. I didn't this take any pictures the, like this, though. What is this? Um, this is up on the uh, north coast. Here in San Diego. Yeah. This, no, this is all on the island of Kauai. This is a series I created there last February and March. Sponsored by uh, this is Catherine Edwards. Don Dominiac, these are horses running through the water. I chased them about three hours before we captured uh, this particular shot. That's a slow shutter speed, so you should All my work there. is slow shutter. Everything's on tripod, so it's very difficult trying to follow horses and uh, put your tripod down, focus. <laughs> can imagine. And you like the slow shutter speed because it gives you well, more it of gives a, a little depth bit of, of movement. color. It gives a little bit of movement, and uh, I don't see everything as being stop action, so I try to show things other than stop action. Sometimes you can't help it, a scene like this, where I was happen to be driving by at uh, sunrise. Clouds usually don't move too quickly. This is a um, reef, and uh, I kind of like the water moving over the rock and uh, get a time exposure, about three seconds. Very ethereal. If people want a chance to get to look at these photographs themselves, they can go someplace. They're in on display right now at a brand new photography gallery in La Jolla called the International Gallery of Photographic Art. It's um, on Prospect across from George's and Chuck's that end of the uh, the street and uh, it's in a little mall called the International Shops. There's uh, a La Berge French restaurant back in the back. A lot of people know where that is. It's back in that little International Shops. 1237 Prospect. Uh, they could call information and get the phone number uh, for directions and they can see all these. There's 25 prints on display and they're very nice. I think they'll enjoy. Well, thank you very much for sharing with the, you uh, being here and seeing all these pictures. I'm sorry we didn't get to see all of them. We'll be back in just a moment so hold that point.